Hey friends, this is Coach Tanisha Marie. Welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, like, share. Hit the notification bell for updates on more upcoming videos. Hey guys, tips from the whip. I am tired though. But this your girl, Coach Shanisha Marie. I've been online marketing like 11 years. Um, I'm a mom, a wife of 14 years. Um, I've been able to help thousands of people make money online. Um, I'm also a government contractor. I go into the schools and actually um, bend. And I teach children financial literacy, vision boards. I go to libraries, churches, um, and I have a book called the ABCs of Wealth Building for Children on Amazon, or you can click the link below and get it. And I have an ebook on um, Amazon Influencer, how to be an Amazon Influencer. You can click the link below and get it, or you can get it on Amazon. So tips from the whip. Haven't did tips from the whip in so long. Tips from the whip. So retirements are no longer a thing. I was listening to Peter Schiff. I was listening to this other girl, Ashley. I was listening to a couple of people and he was talking about how pensions and 401ks and any of that retirement, social security, any of that, those things are like over with, they're done. Unfortunately, millions of Americans are dependent upon these things to retire on the sad part about the retirement system is that it's broken okay and what the government this is what peter schiff was saying that the government is going to keep raising the age to retire so by the time you really retire you're dead so now they ain't got to pay nothing out so the American dream, guys, has literally turned into the American nightmare, right? So me and my husband always talk about this. And I tell my husband, retirement, real estate is retirement. You know, wealthy people use real estate and businesses for retirement, not dependent on someone else, right? Because if you depend on someone else, right, to feed you. You also <laughs> will depend on them to starve you, right? So they could feed you. If you depend on them to feed you, you also in a bad position where they can starve you, right? So if your job is your only retirement, you don't have a retirement, right? And this is why I'm big on people buying homes. You could start with a two family home, a fourplex. I was talking to a girl the other day and I told her, she said she got a two family home. She lives in the basement and she rents both sides out where she lives rent free. And I told her she's doing it right. Now you just get four more. You get a fourplex, right? You get a fourplex that's paying you every month residual income. Get another house, right? By the time you retire, you could be making ten, twenty thousand dollars a month in retirement, right? So even Donald Trump was talking about this. He was saying that the millennials that's getting jobs, people's in their 20s, people's in their 30s, people's in their 40s, who's getting jobs is now gonna have to create their own retirement plan. They're not gonna be able to depend on any of these government entities because social security is about to dry up. If you don't have enough people entering into the system to pay into the 401k Ponzi scheme, and the social security ponzi scheme there's no more money there's the money's dried up right and the same thing for the pensions if you ain't got enough people going into the pension or going into these jobs and paying into the, the system so the world is getting worse you just got to get better um and unfortunately a lot of people are looking forward to retirement a lot of people are looking forward to the next year or two you know, to retire on and they're going to have a rude awakening where they're not going to even be able to retire 
So people looking forward to 65. Now, if you got like a city job or, you know, maybe if you're a teacher or, you know, maybe a uniform worker, maybe you still got a chance. Maybe you still could retire with six figures a year, you know, maybe, right? But the traditional, just the 401k and you social security, you're not going to be able to sustain right because if you were living check to check on a hundred percent of your money and now your retirement is 40 percent of your money need i say more right so i'm always telling people man we got to start thinking in prosperity we got to start thinking wealthy we got to start thinking rich we got to start thinking better right so start your business part-time work the business keep doing the business right i tell even my my daughter try new things right try new things try everything at least you can say i tried this i tried that i didn't like this i didn't like that but you got to try things in order to know you know if you don't like them or not oh i don't like tomatoes well how do you know you ever tried them no oh well i don't like onions well how do you know oh because the way they smell have you ever tried them no oh i don't like mlm why have you ever tried mlm oh no no, get your own experience. Have you ever tried drop shipping? Have you ever tried affiliate marketing? Have you ever tried coaching? Have you ever tried to do an ebook? Have you ever tried e-commerce? If you have you ever tried teaching? Oh no, I never tried none of that. So how in the world do you know if you're gonna like it or not? Oh, you know, how do you know if you like doing videos? All right, I'm following a girl right now. She's been doing YouTube videos for three years straight every day. But before that, it took her five years to start doing videos. Now she got 9,000 subscribers making money on YouTube. And she says she wished she would have started five years ago. So, it's unfortunate because America is the country that everybody want to come to. America is supposed to be a free country, which is not. America is supposed to be there for their people. America wants to take care of their people. And people are not being taken care of. So the only way, guys, to make sure you have a retirement is if you have real estate and some businesses. And the businesses could be different stocks or it can be your own active business. And you can have your own home. Your own home where your home gains equity. You could sell it, right? Or you got multiple properties, right? I'm working on my third property right now right so you, or you can have multiple properties right i don't teach real estate none of that no right because honestly you could go on youtube and learn wholesaling you want to buy your first house you just go to the bank <laughs> and and whatever you want to learn just go to youtube university and watch youtube videos on buying your first home they're going to give you the game so i mean Everything you want to know is at your fingertips. So the new retirement for the middle class, poor people is real estate and businesses. But wealthy people been retiring on real estate and businesses. This ain't nothing new, right? Ain't nothing new. It's just now we got to change our mindset around what we trying to do. We just got to change our mindset now, right? So if you, again, if you depend on an entity to feed your family, you're also going to depend on that same entity to starve your family. If you allow, if you give an entity the power to feed your family, you also give them the power to starve your family. So if you got one income and your retirement is that one income, you're not going to survive, man. And nobody talking about how baby boomers is committing suicide. Because they not realizing that before they retire, they should be checking their retirement five to seven years before. People wait to a year before or the year that they're retirement, retiring and then look at their retirement account and like, wow, I ain't got no money. Well, sis, bro, you ain't retiring. Right? We saw a video that went viral where the guy, the, the, he went to his boss. And his boss said, oh, we can no longer, you know, provide your pension. You've been here working for 30 years and you ain't got a pension. What? What? Nigga, what? 
I've been working here for 30 years, blood, sweat, and tears, missing kids, uh, uh, recitals, missing football games and dance recitals and cheer practices and all of that, birthdays and shit for y'all. And now you're telling me I got to continue working because I ain't got no pension? Wait, what? That's America. This is America. This is why I keep telling y'all guys, start your business part-time that you could do for the rest of your life. Find something that you love that you can do for the rest of your life. Become a government contractor. Do that part-time. You literally could make six figures part-time government contracting. Working in a school, part-time making six figures. Selling ebooks online, making six figures. Buy you a house. You always have somewhere to live. Buy you a fourplex, right? You live in one, and then everybody else is paying the mortgage on the home. So now you live in rent free. You live rent free for the rest of your life. Nobody talk about that. They don't teach us that in school, right? I'm gonna start putting that in my curriculum at at, at, at when I go to schools. Retire and live for free. Not live rent cheap. No, live for free. Because you got a fourplex and you got three tenants paying it. And here's the thing. If one tenant stopped paying, at least you still got two tenants paying. Instead of just one house. And now if you got that tenant, they stopped paying. Now you shit out of luck. So the new retirement, guys, for the middle class and poor is you owning a home and a business. Not 401ks, not pensions, not social security. All that's poor people stuff, middle class stuff. Wealthy people don't retire on pensions and, and all that. No, they retire on real estate and businesses. And businesses is, is also stocks and other business they may have that's bringing in active income or passive income. And then of course, their real estate. They can either sell their properties and make profit with their equity, right? Or they could take a line of equity out if they need money, right? See, they say, oh, house not an asset, but it is, right? You need somewhere to live. You're gonna always need somewhere to live. That's one thing about it. You're gonna always need somewhere to live. Right. So why not live somewhere where you can be able to now your ho your house grows in equity and now you be able to take some money out. If you renting, all you're doing is helping somebody else pay their mortgage. All you're doing is helping someone else grow the equity. All you're doing is helping someone else grow their wealth while you go broke. Three bedroom in New York. No, two bedroom in New York is thirty five freaking hundred dollars. My mortgage is less than that. And I got a whole two family house. Crazy. It's crazy, friends. So the new retirement is real estate and businesses, friends, for the poor and middle class. Retirement is real estate. You want to retire wealthy. You want to retire comfortably, not retire and you ain't got no money. You don't want to retire and you can't think, you can't sleep. For lack of better words, you might as well be dead. If you want to work your whole life, doing something you hate your whole life, you know, at least do something you love your whole life, right? If you're going to do something you hate your whole life and at the end, you broke, you struggled your whole life. <laughs> you pay rent to help someone else build their wealth your whole life. You didn't start a business. You didn't buy a house. You struggled your whole life. And at the end of your life, you struggling too. It's like a waste of life. Right? At some point, guys. See, I don't I don't have no sympathy for people who don't have money and who go complain that they don't have money, guys. There's too many ways to make money. Even if you're 65, you could do Uber Eats and Grubhub. Now, if you're sick, that's different. If you like, you know, uh, 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 you know, if you got like, you know, a condition, that's different. But 90% of people is able bodies. 90% of people is able bodies and they can do the work. 
people just make up in their mind that they disabled. So that's why they become disabled. There's people that's really sick, really mentally sick and physically sick. They can't do nothing about that. That's why you got to put stuff in place now. Right. Life insurance policies, businesses, stocks. Right. So that you can have money. Right. Because what if you can't move? What if you go, if you, you you lose your mind, you still got bills to pay. The government ain't going to say, oh, don't pay your bills because you lost your mind. Oh, don't pay your bills because you physically, you know, can't work no more. No, the government don't care about that. The bank don't care about that. The credit cards don't care about that. Your car note don't care. They don't care none of that. So if they don't care about you and you don't care about you, then who is going to care about you? So got to have things in place, even buying gold and silver. I've been buying gold and silver since I was in high school. Buy gold and silver. Buying gold and silver, man, is also a hack. Because once the dollar goes to freaking zero, all we're going to have is God's money, which is gold and silver. Yep, that's, that's it, guys. So that's tips from the whip. Hopefully I was able to help some of you guys to understand you know, just a little bit more about your retirement. And hopefully you look to buy a house. Hopefully you look to start a business or buy some stocks. Because having stocks is also having a business. So, click on the link below. If you want to buy the book, I got five ways you can start earning income. Right? With affiliate marketing and Amazon influencer for the comfort of your home. Peace.